What? Citadel! <laughs> I'm saved! Undead Citadel is a medieval fantasy adventure featuring a fun, physics-based combat system. The main story campaign tells the tale of a hero seeking refuge in an old citadel. But of course, a massive army of undead lives here, so it'll take a lot of fighting to clear them out as you adventure forward. The environments are spectacular. I enjoyed taking in the distant scenery, but also exploring the interiors wherever I could. And you're incentivized to explore because you're going to want the extra food and weapons within the random buildings. There is some light puzzling within the journey, including a new kind of padlock minigame that was cool to play, and the occasional obstacle course climbing, but let's face it, this game is all about combat. There's a ton of weaponry in here. The two-handed weapons feel heavy, while the one-handed weapons move quicker, like you would expect. Over time, your weapons will eventually break, so you need to keep looking for fresh replacements. You can be as tactical or chaotic as you like during the fights. Intentionally dismember them first, or just swing like a madman. It's up to you. Certain potions enhance the experience, like this green potion that slows time and lets you feel extra badass. I found the campaign to get challenging very quickly. I started on normal difficulty, but about two-thirds through the story I was getting totally decimated. So I switched to easy difficulty, which thankfully you can do without restarting the campaign. It took me almost seven hours to reach the final boss battle, and I still haven't beaten him yet. So if you're looking for a difficult combat challenge, you'll definitely find it here. Besides the campaign, there's a horde mode, which fights endless waves, and an armory mode, which lets you practice with any and all weapons you discovered during the campaign. While the combat is awesome, I do have two small nitpicks. The first is that I had real difficulty throwing weapons at enemies. Now, it's certainly possible that my aim just sucks, but subjectively to me, the weapon throwing was really hard to aim. My second nitpick is that if you take out the legs of an enemy, it seems like they can always reach you, but reaching them with your weapon feels impossible. They seem to always scratch me before I can get close enough with my weapon, which felt counterintuitive to me. Overall, I had a fantastic time, and if you're looking for a violent hack and slash, then I highly recommend it. Also note, besides the obvious violence, there's also lots of adult language and themes throughout. The only mode of movement is sliding. Well, that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe. See ya!